My name is Irene, and starting from today, I will be answering some of your mathematical questions, which in my humble opinion might be interesting to the wide community of students studying math. Now, the first one came from Michael, who asked us to teach him how to solve the system of equations using Kramer's rule. The problem worrying Michael is written down on our blackboard, and here is our task to find why. Now, the first thing to do, solving a system using Kramer's rule, is to modify it so that its left-hand side would contain variables only, and the right-hand side would consequently contain only pure constants. So we'll rearrange our system a little bit. The first equation goes as the original one, but no changes at all. So x plus 4 y's minus 2 z's equals to 3. The second one goes a little bit modified. x plus 3 y's plus 7 z's equals to 1. And so does the third. 2 x's plus 9 y's plus z equals to 8. These equations now form nice columns of x's, y's, and z's, which is very important. Now, we won't be needing the initial system anymore, so I'm erasing it. Now, Kramer's rule is a formula allowing to express the solution of a system via certain determinants. Let us form the determinant for our system. Let delta be the determinant of our system looking as follows. 1, 4, minus 2, 1, 3, 7, 2, 9, 1. As you can see, it consists of coefficients appearing in the left side of our system. Let similarly delta x be the determinant of our system looking as follows. 3, 4, minus 2, 1, 3, 7, 8, 9, 1. We obtain delta x, replacing the first column in the earlier found delta, by the column of constants we had in the right side of our system. We can similarly find delta y and delta z. So delta y goes as follows. Um, 1, 3, minus 2, 1, 1, 7, 2, 8, 1. And delta z goes as follows. 1, 4, 3, 1, 3, 1, and 2, 9, 8. We did exactly the same thing to obtain delta y and delta z. We replaced the second and the third column of our delta with a column of constants we had in the right side of our system. Now, since our task is only to find y, we won't be needing delta x nor delta z. So, I'm the reason. you're interested in, which in our case is y, you have to divide delta y by delta. As simple as that. So basically all we have to do now is calculate these deltas. There is a classic formula allowing to perform these calculations, but it's a little bit complicated, so mathematicians sat down, thought for a little bit, maybe had a couple of beers, and invented a new one, much more simple and easy to remember. But note that it only works for matrices and determinants being of dimensions 3 by 3, which luckily is exactly our case, so we are going to use it. This method is called the method of triangles. Let's see how it works. Now imagine you have a 3 by 3 determinant. In my determinant cir circles are just certain numbers. To calculate the, the determinant using the method of triangles, you have to make two simple steps 
in which to draw two mathematical stars. The first one goes as follows. You multiply the numbers lying in the main diagonal of the determinant, and then the numbers lying in the triangle, lying beside the main diagonal of the determinant, and then the numbers lying in the opposite triangle, and then sum them up. This is the first star. The second star is opposite to the first one. So you have to multiply numbers lying in the, in the reverse diagonal of the determinant and in two triangles lying beside the reverse diagonal. And then subtract these newly obtained triplets from the obtained earlier. So this is basically how the method works. Now let's try and use it on our determinants. To calculate delta, we should form two mathematical stars. So first, we're forming the red one, because red is my marker. We multiply the numbers lying in the main diagonal of the determinant. And then the numbers lying in two triangles beside the main diagonal. And then sum them up. So delta goes as follows. 1 multiplied by 3 and by 1. This is the triplet being formed by the main diagonal of the determinant. Plus 2 multiplied by 4 and by 7 and plus 1 multiplied by 9 and by minus 2. These three triplets form the, the first star. Now we are forming the opposite one, which is black. You multiply the numbers lying in the reverse diagonal and then the numbers lying in two triangles beside the reverse diagonal. And then you subtract these three triplets from the obtained earlier. So now, minus 2 multiplied by 3 and by minus 2, minus 1 multiplied by 1 and by 4, and minus 1 multiplied by 7 and by 9. Having done all these calculations, we get to the number of minus 14. Now, doing exactly the same steps, we are, multi uh, we are calculating delta y. So, first comes the red star. Main diagonal, triangle, and triangle. The numbers go like this. 1 multiplied by 1 and by 1, plus 2 multiplied by 7 and by 3, and plus 1 multiplied by 8 and by minus 2. And then, the black triplets, which are subtracted from the first 3. Reverse diagonal, triangle number one, and triangle number two. Which go like this. Two, multiply by one and by minus two. Minus one, multiply by seven and by eight, and minus two, multiply by three and by one. Now, having performed all these calculations, we get to the number of minus 28. Now, recalling what Mr. Kramer suggested to do, and the fact that the formula is already written down on the board, we substitute the numbers into the formula. So we go like this. Minus 28 divided by minus 14, which brings us to the answer of the problem, which is 2. Ta-da! You can easily calculate x and z using the same method, so enjoy! <laughs>